At Rudolph and Sletten, we use a very old-fashioned technology. It's called people talking to each other. And we build an environment that encourages that dialogue. The idea that you're drinking from the same coffee pot with the design team and the owner and the architect. That's really what makes these projects successful. They see themselves as one big part of a team. The technology has helped us to do a better job. But it's important to remember that technology does not build a building. It's the people that build a building. I've been with the company for 31 years. Almost 15 years. Ken Slutton actually hired me, believe it or not, uh, as an apprentice carpenter some 35 years ago. Our true superintendents and our form have been building for us forever. And you sort of combine the computer generation that is very comfortable working and playing with new technology, and magic starts to happen. Even before we started building here, uh, we took a laser scan of the entire site. And then they were able to turn that into a Revit model. Essentially, it's like building something before you build it. What we were able to do is put all these different, all these different pieces, all these various pieces into the model, and from there, able to determine exactly where something needs to go. And that enabled us to actually see what they look like, do the potholing, find the utilities. Google SketchUp allows you to model things in 3D very quickly and easily. We could precisely and accurately estimate and then also coordinate with the field the amount of concrete that would be placed. Walking through the model, seeing the elevations right there, you don't have to calculate how many inches do you have to be from bottom of pipe or top of duct. We manipulate those drawings to scale them, rotate them, and move them to fit the real world. Things have changed significantly. It used to be that our contract drawings were all drawn by hand. Today, things are a lot different. I measure twice, four times, 10 times. To within an eighth of an inch. Right down to where the stud goes. So that when we finally do build it, we make sure we know exactly what we want to do. We find ways to use the technology to solve problems. Let's come up with a proposed solution and see what the architect would say. Engineers love that. It really helps us plan out our projects in a way we've never been able to do before and have great confidence both in the schedule, in our cost, it is really cool to see stuff that you put together in the office. You go out there and they're building it. People that come to work for us really enjoy getting outside and, and getting their concrete on their boots. You get this sense of accomplishment. It comes from the very core of really building something and seeing it. It's like watching your kids grow. Just the satisfaction of actually creating something. I know years from now, I'm going to drive by here and I'm going to say, yes, I built that building. And I was part of that from day one. When we're all done, at the end of the day, you could look at the project and say, wow. We worked on that job. That hospital there that's now delivering babies and saving lives, I, was, I helped make that happen. So that's, that's pretty incredible. It feels good when you can do that. We love what we do. We love construction. The technologies that we can use now help us deliver quality buildings in a way we've never done it before. Quality, the workmanship, team spirit. That's what's great about RNS.